The two dimensions of speaking, fluency and accuracy, work together to make good, clear, comprehensible speech. But it seems when we are teaching and when students are learning how to speak, those two dimensions of speaking really work against each other. When students are speaking accurately, they are often very slow and hesitant. They are stopping to think. Their speech isn't automatic and fluent. So when accuracy is up, fluency can go down. In contrast, when students are talking to each other, they're talking casually and the words are just flowing. The accuracy isn't always what we would like it to be. So these two dimensions both need to be developed. But it seems pretty clear that for learners, they cannot really focus on both simultaneously all the time. Professor Levis emphasized that teachers need to develop speaking gradually by teaching for both fluency and accuracy. He also emphasized that accents are normal. There are many varieties of English in the world today, and many of these varieties are non-native varieties of English. Professor Levis has already given us some important insights into oral communication. I also asked him specifically for some ideas about how to teach speaking. He came back to the ideas of fluency and accuracy, but there's more. Let's listen. What advice do you have for teachers about teaching speaking? To teach speaking, you have to always teach for both elements, for fluency and for accuracy. Um, learners of a language need to just feel comfortable producing language and not worrying so much about whether it's right or wrong. But at some point, they also need to work on places where accuracy matters. And these two things should be separated. Another thing that teachers need to, to know about, about teaching speaking is that they need to understand the nature of progress. Um, that often students might not be able to do what they want to do right away. Their brains know what they want to do, but their mouths and their automaticity, the, the how automatically they can produce things, don't follow. And this is normal, and it will come to a point where it becomes more automatic. And then last, um, I think, is that in speaking or in pronunciation, learners of any age can improve. Okay, It's not a hopeless thing. Um, Sometimes I think um, adult learners think that they, they just never are going to be able to do it. But what we know is that anybody can improve. It's like any other skill. You just need to do it.